This is meteorologist Nathan Gidley here with an update to your Saturday night forecast. Well, we'll continue to track spotty lake effect snow showers throughout the rest of this evening and into the overnight hours. Watch out for some reduced visibilities at times. Also watch out for a few icy patches to still be around on the sidewalks and on the roadways as a result of the wet pavement that froze from yesterday. It'll be a cold night with low temperatures dropping to around 10 degrees across the area. We'll also see wind chill values be as low as zero degrees at times as all those winds coming in from the west. Now as we get into the day on Sunday, wind chill values will continue to be cold all throughout the day. Bundle up as you're heading out and about. It'll feel like 3 degrees at 8 a.m., 6 degrees by noon, then only 10 degrees by the time we get to 4 o'clock. Air temperatures will reach a high of 20 degrees in Fort Wayne. Look for mostly cloudy skies throughout the day, although we will see an extra push of atmospheric energy as we get in the afternoon and evening, like for some additional lake effect snow showers to form across the area. Looking at minimal accumulations, though, but still watch out for some isolated slick spots and reduced visibilities at times. Here now, look to your exclusive 10 day forecast. We dropped the precipitation chances on Monday. We will be a bit warmer as well for Valentine's Day, a high of 26 degrees. We continue this warming trend in the Tuesday up to 39 degrees. Then we zoom up to 53 degrees on Wednesday. This big warm up in advance of a weather system arriving late Wednesday into Thursday. Going to start as rain late Wednesday and very early on Thursday before we transition over to snow. We could see some accumulating snowfall here as the colder air rushes in on Thursday, the high of 47 degrees occurring early in the day. So keep checking back in for updates as it's too early to speculate on snowfall amounts just yet. Cold behind this system, a high of 25 degrees on Friday, but we go back into the 30s over the weekend, then in the 40s by the time we get to Monday and Tuesday there toward the end of the 10-day forecast.